Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the GTA Robot channel. Here are nine supercars we'd like to see in GTA 6. Number nine, Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. This vehicle was released after the Grand Theft Auto 5, so it's surprising that it wasn't added to the game. Only nine units of the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster were produced, and all of them were sold. It's approximately 50 kilograms heavier than the coupe version of the Veneno with nearly identical performance. Grand Theft Auto 5 cars like the Infernus Monroe and Infernus Classic are based on cars like the Lamborghini Diablo and Murcielago. Number 8, 2014 Maserati Alfieri Concept. Concept cars and more concept cars is what Grand Theft Auto 6 needs to stand out. The 2014 Maserati Alfieri Concept would not be alone in the series since Grand Theft Auto 5 contains a Maserati vehicle. In fact, Grand Theft Auto 5 has a luxury automobile manufacturer based on Maserati. Among other manufacturers, it's called Lampadati and it's said to be founded by Bologna like Maserati. Concept cars are rarely given wide releases to the public, which is why Grand Theft Auto 6 could capitalize on lesser known concept vehicles. Number 7, 2012 Aston Martin 177. As a vehicle that costs 1.4 million euro, it's one of the fastest Aston Martin vehicles in existence. Only 77 Aston Martin 177s were made, hence the name. For people who can't afford this vehicle, driving in Grand Theft Auto 6 is the next best thing. In Grand Theft Auto 6, the vehicle would be speedy on the road, since the original car has 750 horsepower, this two-door coupe may have had the most powerful naturally aspiring engine when it released. We don't know what Grand Theft Auto 6 is setting, but we do know that this car should be in the game. Number 6, 2018 Porsche Carrera GT. First appearing in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Porsche-like Comet has been a part of the Grand Theft Auto series for quite some time. It's a recurring vehicle that has also appeared in games like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 5. The design of the Comet is based on the Porsche 911. The Comet is a Porsche vehicle, but it's not like Porsche Carrera GT. The Carrera GT has significantly more horsepower with a V10 engine that produces 612 horsepower. Although they are two vastly different cars, it's difficult not to compare the 911 to the Carrera GT. Number 5, the 2017 Hennessy Venom F5. This is a car that needs to be seen in yellow. Something about that golden lightness makes it stand out from a crowd of vehicles. A distinguished spoiler will keep the car from flying off the ground when it reaches top speed. The 2017 Hennessy Venom F5 needs to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. There are even PC mods available to let you download that magnificent car. Clearly there is a high demand for the 2017 Hennessy Venom F5 if my creators are putting in the work. Number 4, Ferrari 812 Superfast. Ferrari is an Italian car manufacturer that deserves praise for its extensive lineup of supercars. As this car's name implies, it's super fast. Perhaps the speed of vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 5 was over the top. Many vehicles are only suitable for track racing and are impractical in free mode. When the Ferrari 812 Superfast was released, it was the fastest and most powerful Ferrari yet. With a hefty 12-cylinder engine, it's capable of reaching a top speed of 340 kilometers per hour. Could Grand Theft Auto 6 contain the speed of this vehicle? Number 3, 2014 Ferrari Sergio. This is another stunning concept car that deserves to appear in Grand Theft Auto 6. Grand Theft Auto 5 contains convertible vehicles, but not nearly enough. Riding in convertibles, it was a 2014 Ferrari Sergio. Players will grow a new appreciation for this car type. Right now, there are mostly rumors and few facts surrounding the release of Grand Theft Auto 6, but what about rumored vehicles? Please let the Sergio be in the game. Number 2, 2020 Honda NSX. Honda decided they would bring back the Honda NSX, and we couldn't be happier. Demand for the older version of this vehicle inspired the creation of a Honda NSX mod. The headlights on this vehicle gave us the impression that it is sporty and fast. It's able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 3.1 seconds. Honda NSX is a close competitor to supercars such as the Audi R8 and McLaren 570S. New inspiring vehicles at the 2020 Honda NSX is what Grand Theft Auto 6 needs, period. Number 1, Bugatti EB110SS. Bugatti produced this priceless gem from 1991 to 95. It doesn't have the same appearance as modern Bugattis, but it is a vehicle that has stood the test of time for its breathtaking design. Grand Theft Auto 5 has done a phenomenal job of integrating modern vehicles into the game. When it comes to classics, there is a variety of cars that are mysteriously absent. We don't necessarily need the Bugatti EB1110S, but it goes to show that there is untapped potential for classic vehicles. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.